Are you waking up all night urinating? Let's talk about how to stop that. Hi, I'm Dr. O. If you're new here, make sure you join our free VIP group in school. We have the link in the section below so we can talk about things that we're not able to get into here, whether it makes the video too long or too controversial or we just can't talk about it on YouTube, okay? Make sure you join us there. And also, subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any uploads. So today, we are going to be talking about nocturia, which is basically the terminology explaining that some people are waking up too many times at night to go urinate. What's the problem in that? Well, the biggest problem we see with that is it just causes you not to have a good night's sleep, right? So when you don't get a good night's sleep, what happens the next day? Well, your body now hasn't had the time to repair. Your body's not had time to burn fat, which is, you know, stuff that happens while you're sleeping. Your body's not had time to move toxins to the right places. So we really want to be able to get a good night's sleep so that all of those things can rebalance, right? So getting up multiple times at night, uh, there's a lot of causes for it and we'll discuss that in other videos. But today we just want to talk about the fact that waking up multiple times at night, we, there are some things that we can do to try to help slow that down. So one of the biggest things that you do need to understand is that yes, some people do develop, you know, waking up multiple times at night because of enlarged prostate, right? In, in men, as they age, the prostate gland starts to enlarge and that can cause them to not empty uh, their bladder fully and then cause them to get up multiple times a night to uh, go urinate. But we can also see this as a dietary problem, okay? What do I mean by that? So some patients are going and waking up multiple times in the night to go pee because their dinner was very, very high in carbohydrates, in very processed carbohydrates, refined sugar, okay? So what do I mean? That means you've eaten things that don't have a lot of fiber in it. You know, you didn't eat Brussels sprouts, for example, okay? You ate french fries or you ate the mashed potato, you know, instead of the kale salad. All right, so that's examples of things that you might have done right before bed that is causing you to stay up and urinate. Well, what is the body doing when it sees all of this bolus load of sugar, carbs, that don't have any fiber in it, is that it spikes your blood sugar level, causes insulin level to go up, right? And the body has to follow that sugar with a lot of water. Right, because sugar or carbohydrates are very irritating to the inside of your blood vessels. So your blood vessel tries to follow with a lot of water to try to help get it out of there, flush it out of your system, and of course it's gonna send it to your kidney and to try to get some of that out. So when that gets to your kidney's filtering system, your kidney's filtering system also doesn't like it. It's like, I don't like a lot of sugar in here. I don't wanna reabsorb that into the body, so I gotta let some of that go. Right, so then the kidney is trying to force that sugar out, and of course, what does that do? It's gonna fill up your uh, bladder really quick, and then you run to the bathroom to go try to eliminate it. Okay, so eating something that is very, very high glycemic, which means high in carbohydrates, high in sugar, that doesn't have enough, a lot of fiber, late into the night as dinner, well, is more likely to cause you to have nocturia waking up multiple times in the night to go pee. Another condition that we sometimes see that causes this waking up in the middle of the night is sleep apnea. So a lot of patients have heard about this and we usually see in patients that are maybe overweight where their tonsils and their uvula in the back of their throat is kind of closing up their airway as they lay down to uh, breathe. And some of this causes hypoxia, which means that the brain during that sleep phase is not getting enough oxygen, right? Because you block the airway, which means now this oxygen is not flowing like it should. 
when that happens, that triggers your brain to wake up, right? And one of the things that also happens is that that same hypoxia causes your kidneys to want to get you to go urinate. So you wake up because your brain makes, wants to make sure you don't kill yourself in the middle of the night, right? From lack of oxygen. But then it also, you know, wakes up your kidneys to say, yeah, let him go pee. So you can shake it off a little bit, right? So, so you're now you're going up, you're waking up because you're not getting oxygen, you're almost killing yourself. And then you're going to run into the bathroom to go pee. Then you go lay down and you're doing this continuously all night long. So between not getting enough oxygen to the brain and also constantly going up and peeing, you can see how your body gets disrupted, right? It's not getting rest. It's constantly being woken up. It's not getting oxygen. So sleep apnea is a major, major issue that has to be addressed. And a lot of patients try to avoid getting something done about it because they don't like the treatment, which involves wearing a mask. But think about it. You are almost dying multiple times a night. You're not letting your body rest. You're not letting your body repair. And that will eventually lead to other metabolic issues, other health problems down the road if you don't take care of that. Right? So it's very important that we look and address this issue, you know, when it comes to nocturia. So the other thing is what I alluded to earlier, which is the prostate issue, right, for, for the men. So as, your, as we age, we do see some men have enlarged prostate gland. And as that happens, of course, it starts to cause problems with the complete emptying of the bladder. And as that happens, we have to address the underlying cause in that case, which is use nutrients to help to shrink the prostate gland, right? So there are some natural, you know, nutrients, herbs that we use to try to help with doing that. So, but for us to know that there are tests that we do that you might have to see your urologist for them to really measure and make sure that, you know, uh, this um, hypertrophy of the of the prostate gland is what we are dealing with and not something else okay so nocturia can also be caused by insulin resistance right so what do I mean by that well we've talked up on this channel a few times about insulin resistance and the fact that this is something that happens usually diet related lifestyle related where our body is just now responding to the insulin the way it's supposed to. So the number of insulin that's supposed to help drive your carbohydrates or sugar into your cell is not working right. So then your body starts to release even more and more insulin to try to get the job done. Well, as you're releasing more and more insulin into the body, you're now becoming insulin resistant. And we do see a major link between the causes of insulin resistance and nocturia. So as we help patients improve their body sensitivity to insulin, we tend to find that the nocturia improves. And one of the ways we do this is we address exercise, right? So exercise in one way is one, it, it helps us to increase the sensitivity to our natural insulin so when we especially resist resistance training right weights using our body weights or weights at the gym right to to strengthen our muscle when we do this we do find that you know the insulin resistance starts to improve which subsequently also improves the nocturia so those are just a few points I wanted to touch on today about how we can stop this waking up multiple times in the middle of the night to go urinate because I've explained that is not helping us heal, it's not helping us live an optimal functional life and that's what we're here at this, on this channel trying to learn. So make a comment in the section below if you have a question about that so we can address it on the next one. See ya!